And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everyone on YouTube for our second trial for this next expedition. We got our five wins with Timo. We need to do a little bit better than that. Uh, we're trying to get seven wins to get the maximum amount of prizes. Um, so we're going to start a new draft and get a new build around and see how we do. So at least we, we have it locked in that... that um, Five wins is the worst that we can do as far as prizes. Okay, so we could go right back at it and do Teemo again. But no, we should probably probably do a different one. So we have Trindamir with Scar Mother, Verena, and Elixir of Iron. That's a that's a really powerful uh, combination. And then we also have Darius with Reckoning and Culling Strike. Another powerful combination. So we have two good options between Trindamir and Darius. I, I like them both. I've had good success with both of them, honestly. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy going either route. I don't really love the Reckoning card. I don't really like that card. And I haven't played too much of this Scar Mother Verena, but it seems pretty powerful. So I think, I think I'm going to go with the Trindamir. Because, yeah, Trindamir is... Basically, every time that I either play or play against Trindamir, it's like basically game winning. So let's go, let's go Trindamir. Freljord is a really good place to be anyway. Um, and yeah, these are some good options. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with Karma. Well, we are playing two Karma decks after this, but Karma is so good. And we can kind of play a slower game plan with, with Freljord and try to play a bigger deck and, and Karma. Uh, just the card advantage that that creates by creating a random spell in hand every single round. I'm all for that. So Shadow Assassin's a good one too. Purify, Mage Seeker, Investigator, just kind of meh. If we want to go super aggressive, like this Draven, um, you know, bucket, we can go real aggressive. But you know, Trindamir does cost eight mana, and this is about a swarm of spiders. Eh. All right, let's just go Karma. Oh yeah, Verena has Overwhelm. Okay, I didn't really quite notice that. Yeah, that that is awesome. All right, I love Omenhawk. Entreat's really good because both of our legend, both of our champions are great. Um, single combat is very good, but let's stick with these. We'll we'll just take the Omenhawk and Entreat. I'm happy with that. Um, Bloodsworn Pledge and Unscarred Reaver or two sentries. I'm going to just take these sentries. Last Breath draw card. They're pretty good. Because that's what we want to do. We want to just draw cards, get to get to the late game, and everything like that. All right, I think I'm going to go with the, you know, so we could go with another Omen Hawk and another Entreat. The second, I don't really love the second entreat because you know if we already if we draw, have one champion in hand and we draw an entreat, entreat that gets another champion, maybe the entreat could just be a dead card. I don't really love a second one, um, even though I really like Omen Hawk. Um, but Stalking Wolf is also very good, and the Elnuk is just fine. I think I'm going to take that pile. Uh, we're not really a, a, an ephemeral deck. Some barrier stuff could definitely be good. Let's go with let's go with the barrier stuff. Oh wait, that's not really our our colors, is it? So we're just gonna go with Scarthane, Stefan, and Bloodsworn Pledge. I could do that. All right, another Stalking Wolf and an Omen Hawk, an Unscarred Reaver and a Kindly Tavern Keeper, or a Green Glade Lookout a Ritual of a Newell. I'm just gonna let's just take the Omen Hawk Stalking Wolf. I'm I'm pretty happy with those cards. <clears throat> hmm. These aren't just like these haven't been really cards that I've been very excited about. I think I'm going to go with this last one and just get this big Ancient Yeti in here, I guess. These haven't really been spells I've been too excited about. Here we go. Avalanche and Wildclaw. I like that. 
Yeti Yearling's good too. I don't really care for the Catalyst. I'm going to take this. Avalanche can, can definitely be backbreaking, and we can kind of set that up. Um, and Wild Claw's a really good finisher. Six mana, seven, six. Lonely Poro. And Tall Tales. Nope. Stand United and Rush. This one's not bad. Especially Stand United. I like that because we don't really have very many spells. Um, or the Avalanche and the Stones. And I actually, I think we're just going to take Avalanche and Stones. Stones can help us ramp. And again, we can kind of set up Avalanche to blow out our opponent. Ooh. So this is a 4-5 Overwhelm with Regeneration. That's pretty enticing. It's pretty enticing. We'd get another Entreat. Which I don't love another Entreat. Um, I'm definitely thinking about the first two. Entreat's the card I want the, the least. Reverse the card I want the most. So basically, would I rather have the two middle cards with Yeti and Stefan? Like, is Reaver really that much better than these to take the Entreat? Um, and maybe not. Like, the Stefans, like, with the Avalanche, like, is that kind of good? Like, so basically, Avalanche turns these into 5-2s instead of 2-4s. Yeah, that's I don't know. We'll, we'll give that a try. Um... All right, I'm going to take this Rhyme Tusk Shaman. The Rhyme Tusk Shaman is such an awesome card. Start of the round, Frostbite, the strongest enemy. It's just such a good card. I'm just going to take the Shaman, and it looks like we get an Icy Yeti along with it. Um, okay. Well, we'll take the middle one with the Reaver and the Wild Claw. And... When I'm summoned, create an Enraged Yeti in the top three cards. Grant me plus one, plus one for each ally that died this round. They Who Endure is also very powerful. Um, we don't have very many spells for the Seer. Okay. All right, so I would like more spells, basically. That's, that's one thing that I do want is more spells. Thankfully, Karma can get us a lot of spells. Um, so we can trade Trapper for Seer. That doesn't make much sense. We can trade a Reaver for a Stefan. Uh, I mean, we're just, they're basically the same card, but it costs two more, two more mana. So whatever. A Snapper for an Ancient Yeti. I mean, I don't really like Snapper. So I guess I could do that, even though I don't really love the Ancient Yeti also. Do we already have two Yetis? So that'd be our third Yeti. That is true. Reaver being zero attack is really bad without an activator. That is true. And we only have the two avalanches that would activate it ourselves. So maybe we just take the Stefan instead. All right. We'll do that. Well, I liked our first two picks and our, our champions, and I felt pretty good about our deck with that. But then I really didn't like our draft, honestly. Like the rest of the draft. But Trindamir and Karma, I felt really good about it at that point. I'll keep this. Because he's putting back the Stalking Wolf, but I'm going to try to, you know, do damage to something bigger with the Stalking Wolf, have it die to an Avalanche. Oh, they're like an aggressive Zed Draven deck. This Avalanche is going to be good. We don't need to cast it immediately. We can we can wait a little bit. In Avarosa's name. Draven is a three three. So if they have a Draven, the Empire. it's a 3-3. Three, three. All right, well. Hmm. 
Hmm. The order rewards the faithful. All right. Could have taken the two for one. Gonna try to make it even better. I wonder if these yetis are gonna be good. They can just kinda sit here. Oh man. Uh, I don't think you can refund wild cards. As far as I know. Oh, you can if you don't if you don't play the card. You. Get... Oh, okay. In the purchases part. Okay. Well, that's something I didn't know. That is, yeah, that's something I did not know. This worked out well. They use that plus two plus two card. That trick that gave them toughness. All right, clear up all that. Um, okay, admittedly, this Minotaur Reckoner is going to be a problem. Yeah, I could save that by doing the Elixir. But then I wouldn't play anything else for turn. I'm going to just play this Trapper instead. Try to get another Yeti. I, mean, I guess we do have the Shaman that, that can frostbite this thing all the time. Alright, this could be bad. Winter's claw will purge the weak. We're about to take over the battlefield. I just hope we don't get direct damage out of the game. The stories were true. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler.
Deal two to an enemy, then rally. All right, so I'll play another one of these five fives. So I, I so I can still have the elixir up instead of playing this one. I can still keep the elixir up. Stun an enemy. Give everybody else plus three plus zero. Hmm. So I have to have the rhyme tusk shaman block there three one, but I can save it with the elixir. These things don't have trample. I assume they attack out with everything, that is, yeah. Bitter call. Oh, whoa, 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 That doesn't even save it. What am I doing? <laughs> they just surrendered, though? I didn't actually even save my creature. <laughs> they thought I saved the creature, but I didn't. Uh, the old the old bluff pump spell. <laughs> okay. All right. So I feel like we need another karma because I feel like we need more spells. And swift foot can be uh, devastating. Sorry, excuse me. This this card can definitely be devastating. Re, you know, bounce three things. Um, taking the Trindomir kind of helps my curve a little bit, though. Gives me a one, another one and a two. But we have the two Avalanche. I'm going to take the Karma. It's possible I should be taking the Braum. Nah. Now nah, we're going to take the Karma. All right, so another aggressive deck. I'm going to keep this avalanche. And then I was kind of digging for our champions. Yeah, that was an unexpected finish to that game, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll get this stack in for one. I'm not really playing towards Avalanche, admittedly. I can use a a trick. Nope. Okay. That's fine. You know, we're just trading one for one there. Silent as Making this. They who endure even bigger. Nice pit. That's some hype right there. Get all those Tana points. This is just kind of a, a slow, grindy game, which is the kind of game that we want to play. That doesn't mean that they don't have, like, you know, they have some really powerful stuff. They can just kind of steal games, but this kind of game is... <clears throat> favors us. Nothing can stop me. 
Nothing. Brothers born from battle. Noxus! It's too late for you. Shadow. So yeah, this trade makes the avalanche better. Okay. Hey, what's up, Baloney Pony? So yeah, you're you're saying they who endure is awesome. Yeah, I I haven't really had any experience with they who endure to be honest. Uh, playing with it, I played against it a couple of times. But yeah, I mean right now it's a six mana five five overwhelm. I guess it got plus one from the Omen Hawk, and then we've had three creatures die. So yeah, I could definitely see how that game would steal games. So I can see that. All right, so they ha they still have a lot of cards over there. You know, they got seven cards. So they got a lot of stuff. It is me! This game is far from over. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. <laughs> we'll take what we want and the rest will burn. There's a bunch of fire in the background. All right, so give your support ally plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm. I give you muscles. Go on, gift me a scar. You fool. Perfectly fine. Take the two for one. They got five cards. I have five cards. I think my five five is better than their one one, and I'm I'm pretty confident in the five cards that we have. So I feel like we're nice and ahead right now. This is 13 trample damage right now. They're at 11. This thing can't block. This Reckoner is really good. So basically making this attack. Um, Face me, Shorthorn. Okay. Because Avalanche would still would be able to kill it. I wonder what they think that my trick is. Because it definitely how I attacked really confidently there, it did seem like I had a trick. So they're just gonna let their reckoner die. Probably have what like black spear? Something like that. Probably have black spear. No, they're just passing.
Well, we can find a champion, either Karma or Trindamir. Trindamere. Who would face me? <laughs> that is true. Karma is a vanilla five four in the deck after turn ten. I guess that is true. We can double avalanche. We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. So we have thirteen trample. If they attack, they make a fourteen trample. And they have seven life, four toughness. That is not enough to stay alive. So all we're going to be doing is go, just going straight to attacks and attacking with both. Right I could, I guess I could play Avalanche first, but I don't really feel like that's necessary. In fact, I, I could play the Yeti and the They Who Are Endurer first and just put another 13 power of Tramplers out there. I don't I don't know how they survive that. They don't really, they don't have sweepers or anything. Oh yeah, ruination. Okay, yeah, they have yeah, so there could be ruination. Be yeah, I guess that's the only card. Yeah, ruination. But attack first, they can't have that. Yeah, Ruination would just make Trindamir flip. So they would have died. So yeah, maybe I should have just played these first. It's a good call, because if they play Ruination, they're actually dead. Well, no, because they would they'd have the 4-4 four -four they, they'd be able to block with at that point. So they would have gone down to 2. Returned with interest. All right, gonna cast an avalanche. I think I'll just cast an avalanche again. I'll just double avalanche. <clears throat> Try to get rid of those things. I hope they play something else, and I get to avalanche before they just go to attackers.
It is possible that I lose here, right? If they have, like, Brothers Bond and they have something like, like the thing that gives that plus three, plus zero and Overwhelm. But they did not. I think can't block. Uh, attack. attack! P and Z. Yeah, team. Timo is P and Z, and uh, we had Demacia with Lux also. Those are our two for the last last deck. All right, swap out a card. Wait, so are we are we two and zero? I think we are two and zero. Um, I don't know if we do any of these trades. I could see trading a six drop for Omen Hawk. You know, they they endure is awesome, but we do have a lot of six drops already. So I could see doing that, but that's probably not worth it, honestly. Um I don't think we do that trade yet, and I think I want to keep the entreat to draw. I don't know, maybe we should should yeah, so we are two and zero. Okay. Yeah, we won the <laughs> the elixir of iron buff snap concede fooled him with that one all right we're gonna replace replace and replace get some cheaper stuff cool i like the avalanche avalanche into karma So Lucian's a 3-2, Callista's a 4-2. Both their champions die to Avalanche. That's good. You can't add more blockers. What if I wanted to? All these birds, the aerial assault. Hey, what's up, boot? You like Braum with plus Battle Fury? Yeah, that's that's definitely really powerful. Um, what's up with the name change? Yeah, just getting just getting a name that doesn't have a specific game in the name. That's all I wanted to do there. I was hoping they weren't going to block. But maybe I shouldn't have done that, you know, now the um, Senna can free attack. I mean, obviously, we're going to be avalanching the Senna, so we're going to be doing that. I don't, I don't really have a command for the name change. I don't have one.
I don't have very many commands right now with switching over to Steam Elements, Stream Elements. Oh good, yeah, I just switched it yesterday, you know, with the new name, and so I gotta... Uh, make some commands. Please attack. Please do that attack. Darn. They cannot hide. Because I want the 5 2 to trade with the 4 4 and not with the 2 1. Alright, start creating some spells. Boo. Right, I guess not. Confine and contain. Still feel like we're doing pretty good. With them being at just one card left and us having all this sweet stuff in hand. Feel like we're doing pretty good. So they get the random spell, but I get to trample over three damage and um, Reaver's going to regenerate. I'm playing Karma because, you know, we need to get spells and whenever we... I guess in a couple of turns, whenever we are enlightened and Karma flips, Karma's not going to be nearly as powerful. See, there we go. That's a good spell. Oh, awesome. Obinator, glad, yeah, glad that you're trying it out. Um, <laughs> yeah. It takes, a, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but... Um, I hope you I hope you end up liking it as much as as much as me. Let's go, Trindamir. Oh, the enraged Yeti isn't overwhelmed. We burn, then kindle anew. These stories were true. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Bounce, bounce, bounce. You'll wanna give me some space. Promise. That's one swift foot. Back Triple bounce that can play one thing. And that one thing is concession. Victory, three and O. Oh. Going for power. That's what our deck's about. And it's working out.
All right, resume trial. What do we get? Ugh, we could get another Trindamir. And a pledge and a battle fury. Or, uh, I mean, I think we have to go with this one, right? War Mother's Call? This card's insane. Summon the top unit of your deck now, and then at each start of round, you just get the top card of your deck. That card's insane. And Avalanche. Avalanche has been awesome for us. So getting a third Avalanche is really good. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like getting a third Avalanche. So we've seen how good Avalanche has been in, in this format. Even if the Karmas aren't, even if they can, can turn into not being so great whenever you are enlightened, but whenever we are enlightened, the rest of our deck is just so powerful that it's all good. Yeah, War Mothers is definitely a win the game card, for sure. I've actually never cast War Mothers Call. I had, I've had it cast against me one time, and my opponent got like a two drop, and then untap and some other bad creature, and then I attacked for lethal. I'm going to replace one of these threes, but we'll keep this two, three, four. And looks like we have an, another, I guess, a, you know, a bigger. So we got a, we're facing like more of a bigger mid-range deck, but on the aggressive side. Wording stones. That's a good card. Yeah, wording stones on curve. For the homestead. That's perfect. Fight the signal fires. Nothing can stop. Uh, that is a 5-4. Alright, we're just going to take 5. Alright, you're cutting me down. Karma next turn. That's fine. We'll take the trade. Oh, I can attack. What's up? Down to 16. Gotta count that. That makes life worse. That makes life worse. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Brothers born from battle. So I decided to play a couple of good blockers instead of playing the Karma. Yeah, this is a pretty clutch looking avalanche. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to challenge her the 5 4, of course. 
and then avalanche away the board, but this also gives them the opportunity to play something else that's big and scary. First. Here to watch the bloodshed, sir. Here to win the war. Darn. Stand to. Because it would have been nice. They played the Darius first. Could have eaten up the Darius. So that was a pretty good avalanche. I'm not going to get much value from this karma unless I play it. Whatever the cost. They just passed? I think they're expecting me to attack and then they want to play other stuff. With them just passing and me having the karma, I'm just going to pass also. I think they had judgment possible but I'll make them wait waste that mana does this get rid of um you know something that's getting judgment to did I'm basically sacrificing this Scar Mother to gain five life. You know, I could have just done the stun thing on the nine six. Strike the ball. But I am like how I'm gonna lose is like this, you know, they trample over and kill me. That's you know, pretty obviously how I'm gonna lose. If I would lose. Noxus could use a man like you. Noxus uses people all too often. You won't get past me. Ooh, grants an ally elusive. This round, oh, not for good. Heart and mind as one. Made for yeah, I think I like I think I like the the 
bounce all three, then go go to attackers. They of course get to play one thing, but it's just the one thing. And then I can I can give the six five, I can give it elusive. To make sure we do like the six there and like the Trindomir damage and should be good. Mid-range. There we go. Thank you, Yud. Oh, I see. I like where those where these things are. Like where I see them. Like the deck names and stuff are like way over on on the side. And so, yeah, I, I never noticed that. All right, four and zero. Oh. Swap a card if you want. We can swap a trapper for a sentry. That's actually probably a good swap. It just, you know, takes away a three drop, adds a two drop. They who endure for a flash freeze. It actually is probably not a bad swap. Also for how expensive our deck is. And then a Stefan for a Bloodsworn Pledge. I don't like that one as much. I like the other two. I definitely like the first, like the first one's just an upgrade. So like that's definitely an upgrade, but it's, do I need to get rid of a six drop and get a flash freeze to help us stay alive because our top end is so amazing anyway? We have an icy Yeti in here. I forgot about that. I haven't drawn that card yet. I'll just do this first one. But it's possible I just should be doing the second one. All right, more aggro. Or actually, not really aggro, I guess. More mid range. Probably. We'll kind of see. Definitely want to keep Avalanche. That was, that's like the card that if we don't have Avalanche right away, we go look for Avalanche. Last time it was Teemo, this time Avalanche. What's the chance that they play that they play nothing? It's probably not that good, right? Like they probably play something. <laughs> Got him. Escapes my watch. And draw. Oh, I, I guess I could have attacked. That was just a good attack there, but whatever. All right, there we go. Finish that YouTube video. Um, let's see. I got a two three. Thanks, Blade. Thank you. Yeah, it's good they didn't get Lucian back, for sure. <clears throat> I agree there. I fight for the fallen! 
Way to brag about it. Where there is life, there is hope. One candle for every sun. There's Lucian. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. You will be scoured from this land. You call this a fight? Oh, it's fair. Hmm. Taking eight going down to seven. So we can stalking wolf kill their Lucian with this. I cannot be broken. I gotta worry a little bit about the five five still. Alright, that could be a useful card. So I have seven mana, five, seven. Strength and grace, beauty and flame. Call the weak in fire. This is bad. This is bad. Bastion border from here. Okay, well, I don't have any like life steal stuff. I like that they attacked and, and ha they have the Lucian before the snow hair. That's good for me. Like, how they attacked is good for me. No, this is recall an ally. I can't recall their Lucian. Wow, that worked really well for me. What was that attack about? I don't even know. What are they doing? I don't know what that attack was about. Yeah, they could just put the challenger first and then, yeah, flipped Lucian. I don't know. Virtue guides me. Tremble before the winter's claw, Raiders, to me. Hmm. Ooh. Got a flash freeze. That's exciting. So we have ten cards right now. I will end this here.
<clears throat> yeah. Oh, right. I, yeah, I should have attacked with the flyer, too. Yeah, you're right. So, granted, plus two, plus zero, and ephemeral. I do kind of want to keep extra mana. I only have one creature space to play. We'll take what we need to survive. Our scars speak of great deeds. Ooh, our last card was Avalanche. That could be good. More Mother's Call. We can actually cast it. But we also have to stay alive. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, if I cast this, I actually don't get the two spells. The Scar Mother does not yield. The Scar Mother does not yield. Act with conviction. Come face me. You cannot escape. Block. This is going to trample. Kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. Ugh. That's going to do five to me. I guess I have this frostbite. Guess we, yeah, I guess we got that. We're giving that plus three, plus zero. All right, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have eight cards. So I'm gonna play this, and I get two random spells. Oh, but twice? Crap, it would be four random spells. Oh, why can't I Winner's Breath? It's too slow. All right, well, plus three, plus zero. I have less trample. Oh, it's double plus three, plus zero. Doesn't even kill it. This whole doubling up spells. Right. Plus zero, plus six. Man, is our deck just amazing or something? Just too much power. Okay. Um, a snapper or a tavern keeper. It's basically the same. I, I kind of like the snapper being a two five. We can trade away the Yeti for an elixir of iron. I actually like that trade. I don't really like this Yeti. And an elixir of iron can just help protect stuff. Or an omen hawk for a while. No, I, I think we get rid of a seven drop. Take the one drop. Yeah. We've never drawn that icy yeti. It's never been a card that I've wanted to draw. All right. Five wins. <laughs> yeah. The elixirs are pretty good. They are pretty good. They are pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff and look for Avalanche or just some lower costed cards. What do you call that technique? We'll 
take what we need to survive. So they're an ephemeral deck also. That's not great. We'll make quick work of you. Don't expect them to block. That doesn't mean that they won't, though. Focus. Focus. So I'm saving this thing just basically to turn it into a 5-1. Burst this again, and then Avalanche. Get rid of all those and pump mine up to be a 7-1. Or an 8-1, I mean. Wool Stefan. Alright, um, so they have Hecarim. Hecarim, super scary. We'll play a Wild Claw. Wild Claw does a good job blocking Hecarim. Yeah, that Avalanche was perfect. It's exactly what we needed. If they want to block with their, you know, if they want to block here, like that's a not a bad trade for us, getting rid of the 5-5. Five -five. Ooh, that's an interesting block. Swap two allies, give them barrier. Okay. Fair enough. We're just going to play another Wild Claw. All right, Trindamir, save us. Trindamir time. Trinda time. Three unleashed spirits. I Our board is quite overwhelming, you could say.
So I have I have twenty two overwhelm damage. Yeah, I'll cast. I can. Yeah, we can, so we can cast War Mother's Call afterwards. I want to go straight to attacks. I don't want to let them be able to play more blockers. I want to go straight to attacks like this. So that's still two, four. Uh, that makes your block worse. So yeah, we have lethal on board, even if they make the best blocks they can, which this is not the best blocks they can. They need to put that 2-1 back over in front of the 4-2. Still the same thing. Still 11. Hold up. All right. That's it. They're exactly so. And we're 6-0. All right, so making big, powerful Trindamir decks seems like a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to go. All right, final boss about to happen. We're going to be trading seven of you know we get seven trades. What do we want to do? So elixir for ritual of renewal? Absolutely not. A wild claw for a twin disciples? Maybe. Entreat for an avalanche. Oh, I think we just take the fourth avalanche. Yeah, sorry, Entreat. We're just taking a fourth avalanche. That card's too good. Stones? Nope, not going to get rid of stones. I don't know. Brittle Steel's not bad. Not getting rid of Shaman. Get rid of Reaver for Battle Fury? Nah, we don't really need to do that. So the only one that we could maybe do is trade the stones for a Brittle Steel. I don't think we really need to do that, though. I'm going to skip it. Trade away a bull for an elixir? Nah. War Mother's Call for Bloodsworn Pledge? No. Varena for Flash Freeze? No. I mean, I mean, realistically, maybe we should do this one. Like the Bloodsworn Pledge may actually do more for us than War Mother's Call. <laughs> they no keep War Mothers. All right, we'll keep War Mothers. I mean, it is backbreaking if we, you know, ever cast it, but we're just killing our opponents before we cast it. Uh, trade a Yeti. Nah, the Yetis have been good. Trade they who endure. Nah. Trade a Snapper for a Brittle Steel. I don't know, I'm pretty confident with what we got going on here, honestly. Gonna skip. Okay, so I could see maybe doing this middle one, trading a Stefan for a Stand United because of how good Stand United is. That just gives us another six mana card, though. I don't want another six mana card. Um, what is this thing? Attack do one to all battling units? Hmm. It's interesting. Is that better than Omenhawk? Or do we need Omen Hawk for our curve? Or do we not need Omen Hawk as much because of the avalanches? No, let's just we're just gonna keep it. Keep the keep the deck the same. Um I could oh we could trade couldn't get a fifth avalanche. Four is probably good. Alright, I actually I don't mind this trade here. I'm gonna do this trade. I'm gonna trade karma for brawn. Because we do have we have three karmas. We don't really need three karmas. Two's probably good. Get Braum, get it another good blocker. We're going to do that trade. Final battle. Here we go. Final boss. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Anaconda, glad glad you've uh, given the, the uh, game a try also. Glad to hear that. Ooh, we're playing against a slower deck. 
Well, I mean, just Ezreal, Trindamir are, are kind of slower cards. Do I actually want Braum? Against the slower deck. I think I want things that attack. Braum doesn't really attack. This is an attack matchup. <laughs> this is not a very good stalking wolf matchup. Maybe I should have just taken him out. See the border from here. Especially if they... Okay, I was going to say if they had, like, Mystic Shot. Like, I play it, they Mystic Shot it, then they just get a free 1-1 one -one with the trade. Golden crush bot. Brothers born from battle. This is just kind of some boring defense back and forth right now. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Could have attacked, but instead I just made them waste all that mana. We need to draw... <laughs> I didn't think I'd be saying this, but we need to actually draw our top end. Didn't think that would be a problem. Round six. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. The rest will burn. Not and ready. Yeah, we'll kill the fun smith. We'll make quick work of you. So I'll use the challenger on it. Torches. It's a good chance my opponent has avalanches also. They could absolutely be an avalanche deck as well. Another day. Just another winter. That was pretty good for them. Stuff does so much damage. Scar. That Funsmith with those four drops was pretty awesome, though. Yeah, I just didn't have the mana for double avalanche. I would have preferred to do that. But 
But I'm also, I'm kind of assuming that they're going to use a, a removal spell on this Stalking Wolf. And then I'll Avalanche again. Okay, so they got five cards left. I got four cards left. So not the we're not in the worst spot. Happy to do whatever's needed. I learned that in class. Even though we're not really ahead, but we have a lot of great draws. The frost reveals all to me. And of course, yeah, we do have the Trindamir in hand. There's a pretty decent chance they have their own Trindamir. Um, this thing's super scary. This Rhyme Fang Wolf. It's a very scary card. I'm gonna just t try taking it out. All right, so now we're down to they have four, and I have four, basically. Ugh. Those static shots have been devastating. Now they, now they still have four, but I only have two. This thing's about to turn into a 6-6. Six, six. My body is no longer my own. I smell a fight. Yeah, War Mother's Call would be the perfect top deck for us. Hey, Grayson. Okay. Nice. Glad to hear. But yeah, it's going good. Going good. Where's that War Mother's Call? So long, City of Progress. Give your supported ally elusive. I kept you I kept you in the deck, War Mother's Call, for a reason. And that reason is to draw you. You'll need more than that. Very near. Hey puppy. Here, pup. Oh puppy came over to say hi. You gonna help me out on the final boss here, puppy? Brothers born from battle. Need your help on this final boss, puppy. Let the show begin. This will be a fine turn. Oh, 
War Mother's Call. Ah, uh, so close. It really wasn't that close, puppy. I guess it was a spell. Uh, you have red destruction. You have switched to Legends of Runeterra. Here, you want to come up here? Let us get going. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I guess I guess we hit the mute button on the mic. No, they had another spell. Uh, another mystic shot too. Firing. Boo! We lost to the final boss. Darn. Only got that six wins. It's a big difference in shards. Because we would have gotten, like one, we would have gotten like a, what, a champion chest instead of a card, instead of a golden chest. And we would have got 3,000 shards instead of 1,500. So it was a big difference in shards. <clears throat> Man, I, I felt, yeah, I mean, I kind of thought that we were gonna be winning that, but I had some good draws there at the end. All right, well, let's see what we got. So what's our champ? What's our, uh, all right, first our golden chest. We got two commons, two other commons I already had, so we got extra copies of, and then a death lotus. Deal one to all battling at units. That's a useful card. It's useful. And 326 shards. And a Callista, cool. All right, second Callista. All right, not not the worst. So didn't quite finish the perfect, um, didn't quite finish off the perfect run with the seven zero. We were so close, and you know, like even just like that game, we were just really really close. Oh, we get some more rewards. I guess with that, okay, we got an epic wild card. Nice. So now we're gonna get this next champion capsule for our next reward. We'll be getting a new champion here pretty soon. <clears throat> um, all right, uh, but there we go. So that's that's um, our uh, expedition for today. Almost had the perfect one, so close to the 7-0, but we got the 6-1, still a very good run. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, and of course, leave those comments. Let me know how you're doing on the expeditions and uh, you know what you're playing in uh, ranked and all that kind of stuff as well. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.